I think it's time for me to just come out and say it. I don't think you should be buying the Galaxy Tab S9 series tablets. Now, when I say that you shouldn't be buying the Galaxy Tab S9 series of tablets, I don't say that to mean that the Galaxy Tab S9 series of tablets are not good tablets. They're actually great. I myself own the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, so I am not saying that they're not great. I love my Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. Believe it or not, I actually edit most of my videos on my Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. So. I am in no way, shape, or form saying that they are not great devices. What I am saying, though, is that for the masses, for the majority of people, for the people that are not um, spec nerds, it's hard for me to suggest the Galaxy Tab S9 series over the Galaxy Tab S8 series. There are, I will say, four caveats to that and one of them isn't even really a caveat i guess it's just kind of like a well that's i guess that's nice to have kind of situation so let's compare for now since i have the galaxy tab s9 plus let's compare that to the galaxy tab s8 plus the galaxy tab s9 plus has a 12.4 inch 120 hertz wx G A plus super AMO LED display. Guess what the Galaxy Tab S8 has? S8 Plus has. Exact same. It's the exact same. The exact same screen. The Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has four speakers. Quad, quad speakers tuned by AKG. So, so does the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. Oh wait, the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has a 13 megapixel selfie camera. You mean like the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has a 13 megapixel real ca rear camera and a eight, uh, third. The Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has a 13 megapixel main rear camera and an eight megapixel ultra wide. Well, I guess we got it there because the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus only has a 13 megapixel main camera and a 6 megapixel ultra wide. So I guess we, hey, the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has it there. Are you starting to kind of see where I'm going with this? The Galaxy Tab S9 Plus comes with the S Pen in the box as every single Galaxy Tab S tablet has ever done. Ever since the Galaxy Tab S3, pen has come in the box. Speakers have been tuned by AKG. Since the Tab S4, it's been quad speakers on every single Galaxy tablet. Since the Galaxy Tab S6, you have been able to dock the pen on the back of the device. Since the Galaxy Tab S6, they've all had two cameras. The Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, it has a micro SD card slot, just like the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. You, I feel like you're seeing where I'm going with this story here. They are way more similar than they are different. Here's where I will kick in those four caveats for that kind of do give the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus an edge. If you are a gamer, or if you're going to be using your tablet for like, video and photo editing. The Galaxy Tab S9 Plus does have the advantage of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor plus 12 gigabytes of RAM versus the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. Again, if you are a gamer or you will be using your tablet for photo and or video editing, having that extra RAM and the improvements that they made between the 8 Gen 1 and the 8 Gen 2 are going to be most noticeable if you are gaming or if you are doing photo and video editing. But 
I mean, honestly, most people, they're playing games like Asphalt Racing. They, they'll, they're playing like, um, you know, Candy Crush and all that kind of stuff. Most people are not playing Call of Duty Mobile or Genshin Impact or games like that for the extra power to even make a difference. You're just not going to notice the difference. So that's one area that the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus does have the benefit. Second area that the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has the advantage, well, that's the first one was kind of one and two, the processor and the extra RAM. So I guess technically the third area or benefit that the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has over the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus is the display on the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus can clock down lower than the display on the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. The display on the Tab S9 Plus, I think can go all the way down to like 10 Hertz. And on the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, I think it only went down to like 30. That is going to help with battery life, which is where some of the battery life improvements came into play. Uh, that's going to help with that. That's that's that will help with the battery life. Um, I do know that people who have the Galaxy Tab S8 series devices, the Plus and the Ultra, that is one thing that they talk about. They wish the battery life was better. I have zero complaints about the battery life on my Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. Now that could be a deal breaker for some people. Hey, if I want to have this tablet, I travel a lot. I want the most amount of battery possible or not even I travel a lot. I just want to be able to stay untethered from the wall for as long as possible. If that's the situation for you, then fine. But on the flip side of that, you can also use a power bank because that'll keep the tablet charged. And then whether or not it has good battery life kind of stops mattering so much. See what I'm saying? The third thing, or the fourth thing, I'm sorry, which is the one thing that I said is kind of more like a added bonus than it is a differentiating factor, is the Galaxy Tab S9 series IP68 water resistant. I doubt that that's a make or break situation for anybody, but I can see a benefit to it. If somebody's taking a shower and they want to watch, you know, a little bit of Hulu or Netflix, if they're taking a bath and they want to, you know, set the tablet on the edge or if they're sitting by the pool, you know, maybe they're outside, they just want to chill by the pool. They don't have to worry about water splashing on the tablet and messing it up. So that is a added bonus. But like I said, I don't really think that that's going to be a make or break situation. The biggest factors are going to be uh, the newer processor, the added RAM, <clears throat> and the extended battery life. Those are probably going to be the three biggest factors that someone may say, you know what? I want to choose the Galaxy Tab S9 over the Galaxy Tab S8. The only caveat to this entire discussion that I'm having here is if you are specifically looking at the Galaxy Tab S8, not the Plus, not the Ultra, the Tab S8 versus the Tab S9, that's a different story. The Tab S9 is better. The Tab S8, I believe, had a 90 hertz LCD display. The Tab S9 has a 120 hertz AMO LED display. So the picture is gonna be more crisp, it'll be clearer, it'll have better contrast, in addition to it'll be 120 hertz. On top of all of that, it's also IP68 water resistant, plus you're getting the upgraded processor of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I believe both the Tab S8 and the Tab S9 both rock six gigabytes of, no, 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 no. The Tab S8 rocks six gigabytes of RAM. The Tab S9 is eight gigabytes. You get eight gigabytes with the Tab S9, 12 with the S9 Plus, and 12 with the 512 gigabyte version of the 
S9 Ultra, if you get the one terabyte version, is 16 gigabytes of RAM. So the Tab S9 is actually a very nice update over the Tab S8. But I kind of feel like the Tab S9 Plus, or the Tab S, yeah, the Tab S9 Plus or the Tab S9 Ultra, <clears throat> it was just kind of like, well, we can't just upgrade the Tab S8. I mean, we got to give them something. So thus we got the Tab S9 Plus and the Tab S9 Ultra. The bigger issue is if you are someone who does video editing, who does photo editing, who does mobile gaming, the Tab S10 series is due to release in like a month. So what would be the point of buying the Tab S9 series right now full price, knowing that in a month, the Galaxy Tab S10 series is going to be released, which is going to bare minimum, we know, have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is even better for mobile gaming, for photo editing, for video editing. So you see what I mean by when I say like, especially right now, the Galaxy Tab S9 series is in a very awkward spot. It's too close to the Galaxy Tab S10 series to warrant you paying full price for it. And the Galaxy Tab S8 series is not different enough to warrant saying, stay away from that. So my suggestion would be, if you're looking to buy a tablet, you're wanting to buy a tablet now, and you do not care about having the latest and greatest possible, the Galaxy Tab S8 series is where I would go, specifically the Tab S8 Plus or the Tab S8 Ultra. If you are somebody who's worried about the latest and greatest and you want the newest and the bestest and the brightest and all that other kind of stuff, wait another month or so buy the Galaxy Tab S10 series or worst case scenario the Galaxy Tab S10 series comes out and then within a month or so of that happening you'll notice the prices of the Galaxy Tab S9 series starting to go down but then guess what else happens behind that the Galaxy Tab S8 series starts coming down behind it so it's a tough spot to be in to be the Galaxy Tab S9 right now um, I don't think that if anybody out there decides to buy it, that they will regret it. I do not think that at all. All I am saying is that I do not believe the cost warrants the minor differences, the minor advantages that you gain from having the Tab S9 Plus or Ultra versus the Tab S8 Plus or Ultra and if you're willing to pay full price, then just be patient for another month or so and get the Galaxy Tab S10 series because obviously that's going to be even better. If you have the Galaxy Tab 8, 7, 6, 9, 53, whatever, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.